Christianity can be defined more by what you practice than what you preach. One way of thinking it is internal spirituality or internal religion versus external. Do as I do, not as I say. We've all seen people who give lip services to the idea of Christianity. That doesn't serve anybody. Least of all, you the person giving a lip service to the ideals, ethics, and teachings of Jesus Christ. See, even if you're an atheist, even if you're an atheist, you can understand the real world value of trying to embody the spiritual teachings of Jesus Christ. And if you start trying to put it into effect, you'll see real world results. Your life will be better served by it. Even as an atheist. There used to be a girl on, on Twitter who was a Christian atheist. Made complete sense to me. I don't necessarily believe that Jesus is who he said he is, but I think my life would be better served by trying to embody his ethical teachings. Made sense to me. Matter of fact, this is what Christianity is actually supposed to be about. It's supposed to be about how you behave. We've made the mistake here in Twitterland of thinking it is only about radical assertion. That's what usually people mean when they say faith. Radical assertion. I really, 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 really believe Jesus rose from the dead. Great. How's it changing your behavior towards your fellow man? Good for you. No, I really, really, really honestly believe it. Good for you. I believe you. How's it changing your relationship towards your fellow man? How is it affecting your real world behavior? <clears throat> Everybody can understand this on some level. Peterson talked about in one of his more brilliant, I thought this was a brilliant observation. When you are a child, you learn to adopt the spirit of your father. What does that mean? Well, you want to grow up to be a big, tough man. I want to be a big, tough man just like daddy. So you try and observe daddy's behavior and do everything that daddy does. Great. That's what all kids do. Imitate their, their adults. What happens when daddy goes away? Well, then you've learned to try and internalize being an intelligent child. The spirit of your father, he's not there present in the room. So you've learned to internalize the spirit of your father and try to, act. what would daddy do in this situation? Daddy, daddy would beat him up. <laughs> trying to, yeah, your dad's violent, I don't know. <laughs> your dad's violent, what do you want me to say? I didn't say your father was a good guy, I just said that's, how, that's your role model for life. Why, because he's your father. So you learn to internalize the spirit of your father when he's not present in the room and put it to effect, internalize and act it out in the real world. Christianity operates, operates under the same principle and you don't actually need to literally believe Jesus rose from the dead to realize the value of putting the ethical teachings of Jesus Christ into effect in the real world. You want to see the real world value? Try them out. Try them on for size. Read the, read the stories of Jesus Christ. Read his teachings in the Bible. Try and embody in the real world. You'll see immediately the spiritual value. Start here. What does it mean to act like Jesus? Okay, start right here. It means to be more patient, more kind, more merciful, more compassionate. Start right there. Any arguments? More loving, more kind, more patient, merciful, and compassionate. Start with those. That's what Jesus would tell you to do. Any arguments? That would be a better way to live? You think your relationships might prosper if you learn to be more merciful and compassionate in your relationships? Might, they, might, they, might your relationship be better served? Duh! Yeah? <laughs> yes, the Bible actually says literally this. Your Bible literally says, it says literally this. Love is patient, love is kind, long-suffering, willing to suffer wrong. Those are the literal words. If you're a literalist, literally embody those words. And if you're an atheist... Think about literally embodying those words and how better served your relationships would be if you tried to internalize the spirit of Jesus Christ. You don't need to literally believe he rose from the dead to do that. You honestly don't. You really honestly don't. And that's actually the paradigm of Christianity that's truly important. Why? Because that's the one that brings actual transformation and change here in the real world. God or no God. These spiritual principles work and they last and they're enduring. And the only way you can really actually kind of know that is try them on for size. Be not a hearer of the word, but a doer also. You want to see if this is actually truth? Dig into yourself, find it in your heart to obey those commands of God, 
This is my command that you love one another. That's a command. There are a lot of commands in the Bible. And the ones that people argue over aren't the commands. This is my command that you love one another. That's a command, a direct command. Try it on for size. Start there. You want to see if these principles are true and value, are invaluable, and will endure from everlasting to everlasting? Start right there. Obey that one command. This is my command. Then it says, those who love me, obey my commands. Okay, command number one, love each other. So we can write off Westboro Baptist just like that. Why? Because they're not obeying command number one. Love your neighbor as yourself. Who is my neighbor? Read the parable of the Good Samaritan. Don't you read your Bible, Westboro Baptist? Yeah, we do all the time. No, you don't. <laughs> because that's what it says. This is my command that you love one another. Then Jesus goes on to say, love your neighbor as yourself. You go, who's my neighbor? Good Samaritan. What's the point of the Good Samaritan? Your neighbor is pretty much everybody. Even the gay guy down the street? Yeah, even the gay guy down the street. But he's gay. He's still your neighbor. <laughs> does he live near you? Yeah, he does. Well, then he, by definition, he's your neighbor. But he's gay. But, but he lives near you, correct? <laughs> does he live next door? Yes, he does. <laughs> okay. Then that's your neighbor. Duh. Yeah, that's my neighbor. Go look. <laughs> you probably, if you live in Southern California, guess what? Your neighbor actually is gay. <laughs> I swear to God, most of them, a lot of mine aren't. A lot of mine aren't. My neighbor's gay. Your neighbor's gay. Okay, love your neighbor as yourself. Live in Southern California. Good chance that that guy's gay. There you go. Embody the commands. Embody the principles of the Bible. That's the real agenda of Christianity, or should be. Anybody can give lip service to the ideals of Christianity. Anybody can preach. The real Scotsmen are the ones who practice. Amen.